I just want to start by saying, please don't hate the messenger. Okay, Bola Buddies, this is about vintage perfume. I have an update for you. I've done a little digging, and I know there are still going to be those of you out there that are going to disagree with me, and that's okay, but I'm going to tell you what I learned and what is happening to others, so stay tuned. Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to discuss the topic of perfume. Can it be sold on eBay? And I've talked about this. And in my most recent video that looks like this, somebody received a three day suspension for selling used perfume under collectibles, which many people are saying is allowed. So let's get to the bottom of it. I um, asked people to let me know in the comments of the video if they had had a suspension. Now, I will say the video has had over 20,000 views and there's only a handful of people who have responded, but I'm going to read you their responses. So, Number one, that means people are not speaking out. Number two, that means they didn't watch that far into the video. Or number three, it's not being enforced fully and to its full capacity. I don't know. Um, I did reach out to eBay for Business, and I know a lot of you are going to say that eBay for Business doesn't know. You're going to hear that from eBay for Business. It's, you need to call, you need to do this. Well, I spent probably close to two hours with eBay for Business on this subject. I had them reach out directly to policy, okay? So I'm going to share with you what they said. So stay tuned for that. Um, I also posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, and I only got one response. So, um, I did have a few things that were noted on another feed that I pulled. Again, I'm going to keep everybody's information private, but I'm going to tell you what's going on and what's happening. Now, there was something mentioned in another Facebook group that somebody brought to my attention that said that you can list perfume in the everything collectibles category and that was also addressed so please stay tuned for that i do not advise that you do that um, based on what i was told but we will talk about that later on so there is a lot of i guess information that may not be accurate going around so let's get started with some of the posts, I'm going to show you what they look like. I'm going to pop them up. I'm going to read them to you. And I want your feedback. I want to know what you guys think. Again, if you decide to post perfume on eBay, ultimately, that is your choice. I'm just going to share with you what others are experiencing and what eBay for Business told me. So if you do it, you are taking a chance. I will also tell you, I've heard a couple people say that um, they're just going to sell the perfume on other platforms. I'm only here talking about eBay. That is the only platform I checked with. But I will tell you, perfume is most definitely not allowed to be sold on Poshmark. No perfume whatsoever because perfume has to ship ground. Um, if you are familiar with Poshmark, which um, some of the people that had mentioned it don't even sell on Poshmark, so they were just unaware of how the shipping worked. Um, Poshmark is priority mail only, so that is not ground. So please do not put any perfume on Poshmark. That is a major USPS violation, okay? So don't do it. Okay, I went over to a Poshmark and it says Poshmark also prohibits the sale of items that cannot be shipped using our shipping label types per USPS regulations, including nail polish, perfumes, aerosols, and lithium batteries on their own. Visit USPS for more information on what cannot be shipped, okay? You cannot ship these items 
priority mail. And that is all that um, Poshmark offers is priority mail. And I will pop this up right here. All right, you guys, I'm over here on USPS.com under domestically restricted items. And I just went down to perfumes because that's what we're talking about. But this is also a great resource for other things and how to ship them. So definitely check it out. Perfume containing alcohol may not be shipped internationally or mailed domestically using air transportation. Perfume containing alcohol, however, may be shipped within the United States by ground transportation. There you have it. Okay, so let's look at what some of the comments that were posted in my Facebook group and on the video comments of the Vero video I did. So the first comment says, I just had my perfume pulled down first week of December. It was under collection. The next one says, within an hour of watching the first, I got hit with collectible perfume category. And I've had an account since 1998. I've sold many under the collectible category. This was a warning and I pulled all my cosmetic perfume, clone, mist, sprays, etc. It is not worth my entire account. I'll find another way. The next one says, and again, these are just comments from viewers and Facebook members. So these are experiences that they have had firsthand, okay? And to me, when I hear somebody that this has happened to firsthand, that speaks volumes to me. That tells me that this is happening. Used perfume, I had it listed under the collectible perfume category as it is an older and rare perfume. This one was Victoria's Secret but it was still removed. It falls under their used cosmetics policy. It's unfortunate because used perfume is totally different than used lipstick or other cosmetics. I'm also gonna show you two separate violations. The actual thing that, um, the policy violation that was sent to the person and under the statement, they have two different things that they say. So stay tuned for that as well. All right, this one says, I picked up a shoebox full of small vintage used perfume bottles with partial contents at an estate sale. I was super nervous about listing them and contacted a few notable YouTube resellers who have sold used perfumes and talked about it in their videos. A few sellers responded that there should be no issue. I listed them under collectible bottle and sold most of them until about a month ago when my last one was taken down by eBay as a Vero, not doing it again. Okay, I don't think this is considered a Vero. I think this is considered a policy violation. So, um, you can't believe everything you hear on YouTube. And you guys, that's why when I do a video, if I don't know something, I don't pretend like I know it. So, um, I just tell you experiences and now I've dug a little deeper and went straight to eBay for business on Facebook and they went directly to policy. Again, it wasn't a five minute, give me an answer. I asked a lot of questions. And I probably drove the lady nuts because I'm like, I really need you to check on this for me. I really need you to be sure. Can you just make sure? She's probably like pulling out her hair. Okay, let's read the next one here. Wouldn't it be nice to have a clear answer? I had a used perfume that was actually vintage and listed in collectibles pulled over the summer. I was sent the same blurb that it violated the open cost, oh, I'm sorry, open cosmetics policy. I pulled all of mine since then too. I did not get a suspension, but I did have perfume removed and advised that if I relisted another one, I would receive a suspension. So I will only be doing new. And we will talk about that. Is new allowed? Is it not allowed? I'll tell you what I found out. I had two partial bottles of perfume removed. All of my remaining full and new bottles are still listed. So they just got hit for their partials, not their full. They are definitely cutting down on perfume. I've sold perfume on eBay with only 10% full before, and I just got off a three-day suspension for my current one listed. I took all of those listings down. So I think people are starting to get hit with enough violations that they're just like, it's just not worth it. Sure thing. I had this spray perfume listed in vintage and it was removed. For all of those who say it's allowed, know that it's not anymore. All right. The next one says, 
I got a suspension from listing. I got a suspension from listing three days for used cosmetics, AKA a brand new perfume that didn't have a box. So this one they're saying was brand new without a box. So is original packaging important? Is it needed for it to be new? I don't know. Okay. So let's move on to um, the two different things uh, that people were sent from eBay. They sent me the actual email. And what I find interesting is the verbiage. So the first one we're going to talk about, it says, we had to remove your listing because it didn't follow our cosmetics policy listed for used cosmetics sponges or applicators are not allowed. Okay. This is the one I'm used to seeing. It says, what activity didn't follow the policy? The cosmetics you listed were used or sampled. Due to hygiene concerns and local, state, and federal laws, we prohibit the sale of used cosmetics, including those that were only sampled. We appreciate that you choose to utilize our site, but we must ask that you please not relist in this case. Now, here's the other one. This one says, we had to remove your listing because it didn't follow our cosmetics policy. Listing for used cosmetics, sponges, or applicators are not allowed. Okay, so that part's the same. What activity didn't follow the policy? This one actually says, please understand that you have listed your item on the site. However, this item is prohibited as the selling of used perfumes are not allowed. Please don't relist. So the first one I felt like was kind of, this is what they all send. This one was more specific. <laughs> all right. So let's go on to my eBay for business. And I'm not going to put all of the questions I asked and um, all of that. I'm basically going to give you their responses. But I was very, very adamant to find out, are they telling me this from just what is coming like to them? Or did they go directly to policy? Because I wanted them to go directly to policy. And the amount of time that it took them to get back to me, I feel like they legitimately got me the answers. Okay. So what I did, I did send them two pictures of perfumes. Um, I actually sent three, but the first one was like a splash. And I'm like, ah, you know, I know for sure splashes were not allowed. Um, because they touch the body, okay? So the big question is spray. Everybody thinks sprays are okay under collectibles. And then we had the person in the other Facebook group. I don't know too much detail about it other than what um, I was sent. And it said that they could list in everything collectible. So I did ask about that because... I wanted to know. I need to let you guys know. If that's going around in the Facebook groups that you can list in that category and not get in trouble, is that true? You know, I need to know. So here we go. The first one. The policy, this is from the gal that I spoke with on eBay for Business. And you can see right here, it says eBay for Business. The policy is no used perfumes. It has to be an empty or full bottle to be allowed on the site. So, what from what I understand, if it's a full bottle, you can use it. Now, does it have to be in the original packaging and have everything with it and be like brand new? That's what I would say, but I didn't ask that question. So, um, I'm going to say to protect yourself, make sure it's full and in the original packaging, probably preferably sealed. That's what I would consider new, okay? I play it on the safe side. Again, you guys are all adults and can make your own business decisions. I'm just giving you the information. Um, let's go on to the next response. So she said, okay, thanks for your patience. I've had it come back from policy no, those may not be listed. It has to be full or empty. No partially filled perfumes are allowed on the site. No gray area. If it's partial, you'd have to pour out the liquid and make it empty. And that was her response to me sending her the photos of the perfumes that I showed you guys. I guess I just wanted to give her an example. Like, is this okay? Like, just, I just want to know, is it okay? So the answer is no. 
That's what she's telling me. Um, again, I asked her, this came from policy. And she said it came directly from leadership in policy today. Right there in writing, you guys. Now, this one here, it says, okay, from the top, meaning from policy, partial bottles not allowed anywhere, full or empty only, no special category exceptions, no special category exceptions. Do not use everything else as a category to try to circumvent the policy of no use perfumes. That is the final answer on it. This is an official eBay Facebook group page, monitored and replied to by working eBay employees. I've been here for many years, so all that said, with so all that said, now you can confidently know that you are correct and the answer is no. Partial bottles of perfume permitted on the site, period. Hope you have a great rest of the week and again, thanks so much for your patience with this. Okay. So I probably drove this poor woman crazy, but she was wonderful. Okay, I'm also going to insert a little clip from Nina's Jewels. This is her YouTube channel, and she watched my video, and she reached out to eBay directly as well. And I just want to show you this clip of what she was told. Uh, um, on Bolo Betty's channel just yesterday that she had done a segment regarding one of her her followers who had gotten a Vero violation and a three-day suspension for selling cologne or perfume in the collectibles category, which is where we sell our vintage cologne and perfume. And they had received a Vero violation for selling that. And I actually reached out to eBay directly about this and asked. And I had to reach out to them twice because they didn't answer me the first time. I reached out to them through eBay for business on Facebook. And the response I got back was that it is not allowed. So I'm not sure if this is new, if they've changed their policy, what's going on, because we've been selling cologne and perfume in that category for a very, very, very long time and have never had any issues. I'm kind of wishy-washy on what I'm going to do here. I mean, I do not want to get a suspension, obviously, but I guess I'm going to make a decision by the end of this week. I'm waiting to see, you know, Courtney had said in her video, please somebody, please, if anybody else has received a suspension or a Vera violation for selling cologne or perfume in the collectibles category to let her know. And I guess what I'm hoping for is that we'll hear back from, from some folks on that. And if someone has indeed received a Vero violation or a notification from eBay about that, and we have some corroboration of this, then definitely I'm gonna take these listings down. You know, I guess I'm just not sure. I mean, eBay did verify that but it just seems so crazy to me that they would have this policy in place. And also people have heard varying accounts from eBay reps. So if you have had a violation from eBay in this category, let us know in the comments below, because there is lot, there are lots of questions out there from sellers. And I also know that this would affect sellers and buyers equally. That is what, that's what I got for you. I'm gonna say no perfume. Again, if you have something in writing from eBay that says you can list perfume or something different from what I'm saying, message me. Like I'm fully like happy to listen to what you have to say. It's definitely a controversial subject, and I know this is not what a lot of you want to hear. So that's it, guys. That's what I got for you. Um, no perfume, no gray area, black and white, full, new, or completely empty to sell it on eBay. That's your answer from eBay. Not from me from eBay. And then all the other examples are just examples of things that have happened to people. But 
Thank you so much. I would love your feedback down in the comments. And again, I'm not telling you what to do with your business. You do what you want to do, but uh, protect yourself and be careful. And thanks for watching.